Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are going to start our chapter that is metals and you are watching my channel Chemistry Solutions and I am Aisha Manzoor. So in this lesson you people will be able to define reactivity series. Place metals in order of reactivity. Potassium, Sodium, Calcium, Magnesium, Zinc, Iron and Copper. By reference to the reactions if any of metals with water or steam and dilute hydrochloric acid. So with water and steam and with dilute hydrochloric acids along with these reactions we will be, we will be able to know that which metals are very reactive and which are not. So first of all if we will talk about the reactivity series there is another word which can be utilized for the reactivity series is the activity series or electrochemical series. So these are the words for the same uh, series of metals. So how we can define that what basically reactivity series is. So how is reactivity series set up? Reactivity series of metals set on the basis of reaction of metals with cold water and with hot, hot water that is called as steam with respect to the dilute acids as well. So reactions of metals will be based on cold water, hot water and dilute acids. So after the reactions of the metals with these um, reagents then we will say that which metal is more reactive and which metal is least reactive. If the metal is going to react with cold water vigorously, violently or explode then in that case we can say that that metal is very reactive. But if metal is going to react with water or steam very slowly or not giving any response then we will say that that is not a good very reactive metal. So same with the case of dilute acids if metals will react vigorously with acids or explode then we will say that this reaction is highly this metal is highly reactive. So the reactivity series is a measure of the reactivity series is a measure of how easily metal atoms give up electrons to form positive ion. So one thing we should remember that how metals form positive ion. All metals try to form positive ions. If I am going to say that this is a symbol for any metal. M. It can form a charge of plus. With plus 1, it can be of 2 plus, it can be of 3 plus. So it depends upon the number of group from which it belongs. So metals can have plus 1, plus 2, plus 3 charge. They readily lose its electrons to form positive charge. So they are called as electropositive in nature. So metals, why we will call it electropositive in nature? Because they readily give up their electrons. Electropositive. So they are electropositive. So this was about the reactivity series. Now we want to have a look on the reactivity series of metals. So here is a complete reactivity series of metals like potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, lead, hydrogen, copper, mercury, silver, gold and platinum. Now how we can memorize it, we can make a mnemonic to memorize this one. How? Like this, Kamal never calls me at zoo, full public has come to say hi, Assalamu alaikum, A-U-P-T. So this is the way through which you can uh, memorize it and if you want to memorize this mnemonic, so pause the video and again listen this mnemonic and try to memorize it. Now remember, after the reactions with the cold water and with steam and with dilute acid, this reactivity series set up. So if we can say that many metals react with water depending upon uh, their reactions, so if the metals react violently then these are the metals like potassium, sodium, calcium which will react vigorously. So we will say that these metals are highly reactive metals. 
then in the middle we will say that uh, these metals are the moderate reactive metals so we can react it uh, use these metals in the laboratory very carefully and we can safely use these metals so here copper mercury silver gold and platinum these are the least reactive metals so most probably they cannot react with most dilute acids and they cannot react with uh, cold water or steam so this one is the reactivity series of metals which we have discussed right now now we will see the reactions which are involved when we will be react these metals with water what happens in that case so when potassium will react with cold water right it explodes with cold water potassium will explodes with cold water right very reactive and it will produce hydrogen gas and alkali potassium when react with water cold water it will produce alkali and hydrogen gas a lot of heat is given off uh, and the hydrogen gas burns in air this basically hydrogen gas is flammable which burns in air now the sodium metal when react with cold water it again will produce uh, sodium hydroxide but reacts very fast with cold water potassium will explode but sodium will react very fast with cold water sometimes with an explosion sodium hydroxide solution will form along with the hydrogen gas so hydrogen gas may catch fire and explode so this is a flammable gas which can catch fire if we will move towards the calcium calcium will react with cold water lots of bubbles of hydrogen gas produce all right and again uh, alkali will be produced that is the calcium hydroxide so hydrogen gas may can may catch fire as you know that this is a flammable gas so these are the highly reactive metals but as we move down so as we move down the series reactivity decreases now next magnesium reacts very slowly with cold water so it can take uh, some few days and produce some of the bubbles of hydrogen gas so magnesium hydroxide solution obtained magnesium reacts very slowly with cold water okay a few bubbles of hydrogen gas produced along with the cold water if we will talk about the reaction of magnesium with cold water so magnesium hydroxide solution is obtained but magnesium burns to produce magnesium oxide if magnesium he reacts with uh with steam if reaction will react with the steam then in that case magnesium will produce magnesium oxide and hydrogen gas so with steam it will produce magnesium oxide and with cold water metal produce metal hydroxide that is the alkaline in nature so next we are going to talk about the zinc uh, no reaction with cold water so it will again react with hot water hot zinc burn hot zinc hot magnesium hot iron so hot zinc will burn in the presence of uh, gaseous water that is the steam to produce zinc oxide and hydrogen gas and iron iron will react with steam to produce iron oxide and hydrogen gas actually iron can produce iron have uh, fe2 plus valency as well and fe3 plus with fe2 plus it can form a formula feo with fe3 it can form form a formula fe2o3 collectively it can form fe3o4 so if we are going to we are going to react iron with steam it can form iron oxide and hydrogen gas but rest of the least reactive metals have no reaction with the water so this is the uh, this is all about the reaction of water of metals with water so now we are going to discuss about the reaction of metals with dilute hydrochloric acid so you people already have learned in your acid basis chapter that there are some metals which safely react in laboratory that are mazate that is mazate means 
magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron and tin. These are the metals which safely react in the laboratory. But if we are going to discuss the reactions of these uh, metals, so we can say that potassium chloride solution is formed and hydrogen gas is produced when potassium metal reacts with hydrochloric acid and this potassium metal will explode. Right, explosion will take place and the sign for explosion is like this. This is the sign for explosion. Okay. Again, if we are going to talk about the sodium, when sodium reacts with hydrochloric acid, it will form sodium chloride solution, aqueous sodium chloride and hydrogen gas. And this again, it will explode and vigorous reaction will take place. So next calcium, calcium reacts very fast, reacts very fast. As we go down, reactivity decreases, so reacts very fast. So bubbles of gases will produce along with the calcium chloride solution. So calcium will react with hydrochloric acid to form calcium chloride and hydrogen gas. Now reacts very fast, reacts very fast and reacts fast with magnesium. Magnesium also reacts very fast with the acid, it will form magnesium chloride along with the hydrogen gas. So this is a solution, aqueous solution. If we will talk about calcium chloride aqueous, magnesium chloride is also aqueous. Now move on towards the zinc. Zinc reacts moderately fast. So it will react moderately fast. So zinc reacts mm -hmm. moderately fast along with the hydrochloric acid to produce salt and hydrogen gas. So zinc chloride, so, uh, zinc chloride solution is obtained. So this one is our aqueous solution will obtain along with the hydrogen gas. So iron will give us very slow reaction. Mm -hmm. Okay, very slow reaction with iron. So bubbles of hydrogen gas produced, if we can observe this reaction, bubbles of hydrogen gas produced and iron will dissolve in hydrochloric acid. To, if we are going to talk about the color, so pale green solution of iron to chloride mm -hmm. obtained. So this, the color of Fe, FeCl2 is the pale green, pale green solution of FeCl2 will obtained. Pale green solution is obtained. Now here is a story of aluminium. Mm -hmm. If we are going to talk about the aluminium. Mm -hmm. Aluminium is a metal which form a layer of Al2O3 aluminium oxide which prevents and form a barrier around the aluminium and protect aluminium from rusting, from reaction with acid, from reaction with water. So aluminium form a layer of aluminium oxide. If we want to take get a reaction and want to check the reaction of aluminium, we have to remove a layer from the aluminium, which it can make along with the reaction with the oxygen present in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. so, so aluminium basically is going to form a layer around it to form a, a protective layer. So this is all about our uh, today's lesson. If you will think about that today we have defined what basically reactivity series is. Mm -hmm. We place the metals in order of their reactivity series along with the reactions of water or steam and with the dilute hydrochloric acid. So I hope so that you people have learned it very well. So don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Remember consistency is the key of success. So signing off Miss Aisha Manzoor.